Thought question 1. Out of all art forms what made you choose the path you choose? As far as I am concerned, I am only focusing on the painting path. I probably chose this path very early on because I can't even remember the exact time. I would say that it is thanks to my parents that I chose painting. Whatever the topic, simple or complex, they were always there to answer my questions and support me on any path. My mother was my first teacher. She continuously has ideas to create interesting things for adults or children. My father has inspired me to form my vision of the world, and he also helped me, a bit later on, with realist and figurative painting. Both are very productive in a creative sense. I continued on the artistic path with two major steps. First, in 1993, I mainly used charcoal and India ink. Then, after lots of thinking, I actually decided not to do an art school like Les Beaux Arts. I had another passion, biology. I made this choice because I wanted to avoid a sort of pollution of my mental images. By making this choice, it was my way to stay on a pure artistic world. I was and still am convinced that it was the right way to maintain a personal inspiration. Any other suggestion welcome, but I can't think of another way. Actually, it was also on that year that I started to use colors, dry pastels and make abstract paintings. The second step was much more recent, in September 2010. Up to now, the whole of my work was the result of moments, feelings, or impressions related to my past or recent present, the cyclical unit of life and the fusion of elements around it. This is why I cannot answer the question precisely, what is the current theme of your life? The aim is for the painting to be related to your present time, your vision, and it will be the right interpretation, I suggest you do your own reading of my work. Who knows, your path might cross mine. Thought question 2. How would you describe your work to someone who has not seen it? Is it possible to describe a feeling to someone who has not felt it? I find it very difficult to describe my work in general. I admire people who are able to describe a situation a very well or something they experienced. As far as I am concerned, I am enjoying living the moment but I am not very good at expressing it with words. Usually, if you ask this question, the more common answer would be, have a look if you are really curious about it. Thought question 3. Should an artist earn to create or create to earn? What a complex question. First of all, I am wondering what an artist is exactly and if I am close to the definition. In any case, I create on a daily basis. I know both situations, I know very well about earning money to be able to paint and I also know very well about creating to earn money. Thought question 4. Who is your favorite artist both past and present? I am a big admirer of Vincent van Gogh. I appreciate various contemporary artists, I meet a lot of them. However, for a long time I was avoiding exhibitions and looking at other artists' work in order to protect my own inspiration from other people's influence. Thought question 5. Is there a particular sentiment, emotion or atmosphere that you like capturing within your artwork? The whole of my work incorporates emotions, feelings and atmospheres. I am the product of three cultures, as a child, I was living in Morocco, then we moved to France when I was a teenager and I am currently in Spain, where I have been living for the last 10 years. The result is my work, full of the various feelings I have felt until now, admiration, happiness, hate, fury, pain, sadness, gratefulness, peace, and above all, love. Obviously, I incorporate in my work all the powerful feelings I have or have had. Thought question 6. Do you have a personal favorite piece? To prefer is to compare. How can I compare feelings? The nature of my work in relation to diverse emotions makes it very difficult to answer this question. However, I would say that I particularly like Turtle Flight, 2004, M, 17 to 2005, D, 2007, An Accident Your Paradise minus 2008, Valletta Atarolada, 2010. You can see these paintings on my website www.nando.fr in the gallery section, classified by year. 
obviously, these paintings are better seen in real life than on a website. I am often amused by my own evaluation. The final result of a painting can vary so much depending on the light, the feeling I have on that day, that I, preferred each and every one of them at some point. Some even surprise me sometimes. I had difficulty to answer. What do you think? Thought question 7. Do you believe art lies more within the concept or in the final aesthetic? First, I prefer to refer to the dictionary to give a definition of concept, aesthetic, and art. A concept is a general and abstract representation of a reality. Aesthetic is a philosophical discipline that has for object perceptions, meanings, beauty, or that is exclusively related to the concept of art. Art is a human activity, the product of this activity, or the idea of it, that consists in putting together various elements, calling on the senses, the emotion, and the intellect. As far as I am concerned, art is simply what one feels. My creations are not limited by a concept or aimed at a specific aesthetic. Of course, one can think that my work is decorative, but the starting point is a feeling. As a viewer, you might feel it or not. Thought question 8. Are you part of any art movement? How do you know you know yourself? How can you react to new situations? Once, in front of a canvas, I had in mind those questions. I was wondering if the result of my painting will be recognized, and I was wondering how the viewer might live with the painting. I only started showing my work to other people on 2007. I guess I belong to a movement of introspection, based on my own personal rhythm, which is unique. I evolved on my own, but, I have to say, it helped to have the support of lots of wonderful, unique people that I am grateful to know. Thank you for being here. The aim is still the same, create something in relation to my being, and limiting influences that I feel could contaminate me. To be part of an artistic movement would probably make me feel limited in my inspiration and creation, so I intentionally avoid it. Thought question 9. Do you think there is any one artist or otherwise that is overrated? How can you overrate an artist or a movement? I believe we are where we should be in terms of artistic creation. What are the criteria to say that an artist is correct or not? I prefer to avoid judgments and enjoy the fact that there are some artists or movements that something are overrated. Why would I oppose my reality to yours? When someone visits my art studio, they can react immediately, feel something or not at all, and stay silent and not be moved by the atmosphere around them, created by the paintings. Each artist or movement has its place. Thought question 10. What are you currently working on? I am currently working on a 2 meters x 2 meters canvas, using oil paint, and it's up to the viewer to decide on the theme of my work. I am also preparing a portfolio, on paper, and working on some changes on my website www.nando.fr, as well as preparing something in New York, but it is at very early stage. I will let you know more soon hopefully. And I've also got some special supporters that I would like to thank like Malika in Paris. Thought question 11. What is a typical day for you? Are you free to focus solely on your artistic desires? There is no typical day as such for me. Even though I am trying to create a routine, there are always changes in my plans. I usually get up early in the morning, listen to music and enjoy thinking about something beautiful. The rest of the day is unpredictable. In a way, I would say that surprises and changes are my routine. Some weeks, I can focus uniquely on my artistic desires. However, I do not plan a certain amount of time to be spent on a painting or on my artistic desires in general. There is no better moment to feel good than right now. Fault question 12. What is your fault? I don't speak much, I really appreciate silence, doing nothing, and I sometimes happen to be a bit too direct when I communicate which might offend someone without the intention of doing so. I am also asking lots of questions until I fully understand the answer. I might look ignorant by asking certain questions but I always prefer to try to understand the person I am talking to. I find it difficult to deal with people who don't just recognize they made a mistake and get over it. 
another of my weaknesses or faults maybe, is the feeling I have been having for more than 10 years for you. My take.